there was a foot massage shop in Shanghai, China. Guests always flocked to the next shop, which has similar facilities and employees' abilities. But there were many customers in this shop. The CEO of this shop, who wondered why there was such a difference, asked the CEO of the next shop one day why. Then he replied like this. There's one big difference between the way you and I run this shop. I often ask my employees, what do you do? If there is an employee who answers, I am a foot massage person, I say this. No, you're not just a foot massager, you're a person who energizes people. All the customers who come to our shop are tired people. You are playing a very important role in relieving their fatigue and infusing new energy into their bodies. They will increase the value of the world by spreading the pleasant energy they get from you to others. What do you think? Isn't it really important? In conclusion, the CEO of a store with many customers made employees aware of the meaning of their work. This way of making employees aware of what they are doing and leading them through that meaning is called value-oriented management. The attitude of employees who recognize the meaning of their work and those who do not work is distinctly different. Employees who only work to earn money do not produce good results, thinking about how to work more comfortably. However, employees who think they are important people who increase the value of the world treat their customers with all their heart and work with dedication without the need of a leader and achieve outstanding results. Leaders should never forget that humans are essentially meaning-seeking beings.